are fixing to leave the truck stop. Still haven't heard anything from uh, dispatch about my cars being accepted by the border, but we'll start heading that direction anyways. Probably got about, uh, I'd say about two and a half hours to the border, maybe three. Anything could happen from here to there, right? At least we hope. We sort of hope that it will be in. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wait there at the duty-free shop and just sit there and wait till they clear my parts. So about the only thing I could do. But look at the gorgeous day out here again today. Isn't summer beautiful? Feet. Take the entrance to the left on I-94 East. I think so. To me it is. It is absolutely breathtaking in summer. I love the summer. I also do like the, the winter. The winter is nice too. At least to me, some of you might disagree, but winter is nice to me. You can do stuff that you can't do in summer. You can go ice fishing, you can go snowmobiling, you can go skiing, all kinds of activities that you can't really do in summer. Continue on this road for 61 miles. Yes sir. -y. That's the way it goes. Here we go. Back on the interstate. Well, we got 61 miles up to there. So yeah, I would say about two and a quarter to two and a half hours. So we should be at the border. Yes sir, Bob. That's the way it goes. These things right here on my lips is from uh, me being sick last week. Every time I have fever, I get that. Fever blisters all over my lips, you know. But we're starting to feel much better. I'm not sick at all anymore. I'm good. That's the way we like it. Oh, yeah. I'm sort of bored this week here. My son is not with me. So now it's kind of hard to uh, actually record a show because <laughs> I miss him a lot, you know. I miss my son. I miss my family all the time, you know. Put my sunglasses on and starting to, starting to get really bright. Be able to see better yeah so let's get down the road and see how soon we can get our cars cleared across the border here we go guys we are finally in Windsor Ontario took a while till they finally cleared our border but luckily I didn't have to wait I got about halfway into Detroit Michigan and then they cleared my load yeah or at least accepted it at the border yep that's the way it is now we got about uh, i guess three hours to go we should be in uh, cambridge no i don't think it should be three hours we'll have to see maybe an hour and a half or two maybe to see what my GPS has to say. I think he's screwed up there. Just before the border, he was showing me 286 kilometers, and now he's only showing 41. So we'll have to recalculate him and see what he has got to say. Let's do that. Let's have a look. Maybe you'll tell me a different one, a different number now. 
Ah, uh, through 283 kilometers, that's what I thought. <coughs> Starting to get a little bit hungry, but I like to go there as soon as I can because uh, it's uh, il almost 11:30 already, 11:23 right now. So I got three hours to go. So that means 1:30. Uh, so I'll be about 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, I should be there. Let's see if we can pass this truck. It's going really slow and I'm late. Anyways, we'll be right back, y'all. Well, guys, this is a really tight space over here. As you can see, we gotta go into that door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip the camera onto the back of the doors there and then uh, we'll back her in here. Alrighty guys, here we go. Let's give this a shot and see how good we are going to be in backing into this hole over here. It is super, super, super tight to get into this hole. This place is not meant to be for a 53 foot trailer. I guarantee you that. We gotta get into that hole over there. I pretty much have to try and turn around in here before I can actually even attempt to back her in over there. My truck is fairly long. So, let's give that a shot and see how that's gonna work. There we go. Alrighty. I like to back in when I can see the trailer on the driver's side. Makes it a lot easier for me. Oh, looking actually pretty good. I thought it was going to be worse. Yep. Just, I guess, looks tighter. When you first look at it, you know. One pull up. I'm gonna try and line it up there with that yellow line there on that dock. There we go. Starting to look pretty good. I think we got her. I think we got her. Yeah, look at that. That wasn't even that hard. Not at all. There we go. Dog. Pushing on the dog here any second, no? There we go. It's not a hard dog at all. So. All right, we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. We have finished unloading already quite a while ago. Called dispatch up and asked them what they wanted me to do which direction they wanted me start heading and he said uh, go to uh, Mississauga terminal and uh, we'll send you a load off for shortly well started heading towards Mississauga from Cambridge got about 22 kilometers away from Mississauga and uh, received a message saying uh, turn around so turn around and uh, shortly after that we got a reload offer and they told us to uh, head to Sarnia to pick up a load over there Sarnia Ontario so here we are in London, Ontario now. Just fueled up over here and made sure I had lots of fuel because that's a, a day and three quarter worth of driving from here to home. And there really isn't that many gas stations in between there, so. 
at least not the ones that I like to feel at, you know. So we made sure we fueled her up over here and uh, now we're good to go. Took a shower. Figure because there ain't that many truck stops along the road, I would take me a shower up here. Now we're gonna go to the closest truck stop up there in Sarnia. In 500 meters, take the entrance to the Just right side. Probably I -401 West Audi E401 West Windsor. About an hour drive for me. Yeah, maybe not even quite. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 401 West Audi E401 West Windsor. All right, you tell them there, RJ. You just go ahead and tell them. That's the way we're going to go. Yeah, so we uh, we have a truck stop there probably about 15-20 minutes before, uh, before we go to Sarnia, before we get to Sarnia. So that's where we're going to go. I know I could take a shower over there too, but I just wanted to fuel up over here. I figured may as well take a shower. So let's put the hammer down and uh, go to that other truck stop there. And then we're close by within 15 20 minutes of our pickup. Then we'll go in there tomorrow morning and pick up our reload. That's a life load there that we have to do over there. Continue on this road for five kilometers. And I'm just supposed to bring that load back to Steinbach. It's going to Madison and Alberta, but uh, I'm just bringing her back to Steinbach, so that's quite all right with me. At least I should be home Saturday uh, evening. Yes, sir. If everything goes according to plan, I should be home Saturday evening, so... Then <coughs> ah! at least we'll be home Sunday. And I'll be available probably Monday morning. I'm gonna try and be uh, home on the weekend a little bit more, you know. But at the same time, trying to get some miles in. I think we did alright this week. I think we'll have... Uh, uh, yeah, I think we'll have close to uh, 3,000 miles in this week. So that's a good week. If I get 2,800 to 3,000 every week, I'm a happy camper. Anyways, let's get down the road and get to our next destination. Well guys, we are here at the truck step, about 35 kilometers away from our uh, pickup for tomorrow morning. And we are getting ready to go to bed, so figure we would close the show and uh, go to bed. Yeah, I've been figuring, uh, trying to been figuring out uh, Windows 10. I installed it there yesterday. When it came out, I installed it right away and playing around with it right now. And actually, I just finished putting a video together and uh, rendering it right now. And it actually seems to be rendering faster than it did uh, with the other program. So it seems to be pretty good. So far, it's running pretty good, pretty smoothly. Everything seems to be good. Let's turn this light back on. Anyways, uh, hey, that's about all I got for today. So we'll uh, close the show and we'll see you again tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And if you are new to this channel, we would love to have you subscribe to us and follow us on our daily journey. And you'll get to see many different variety of videos. And uh, with that, everyone have a good one and we will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.